Hey guys, just a friendly reminder that Come Again TV is not a made for kids channel. All our videos and playlists on this channel are meant for the adult enthusiast and collector. If you're under the age of 13, make sure you click off now. Parental discretion is advised. Did you fart? You did, did you? <laughs> oh, you're laughing. Ooh, 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 damn. Ooh. <laughs> I'm over here trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that smells. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon. I'm Retro John of The Logic. You may remember me, John Wise from Come Again. He's back. I hit him. Yeah. I hit on you, I missed you. I missed you too, John. What are we talking about today, Shannon? We're talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths. Our Earth? Another Earth. Ah, uh, I mean, multiple Earths. Yes. This sounds like an interesting plot for a comic book TV series, or multiple of. So as everyone knows, Crisis on Infinite Earths is a CW miniseries for the Arrowverse, which includes Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Batwoman, Black Lightning, and Le Legends of Tomorrow? Legends of Legends Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. God, uh, technically, though, Black Lightning is not a part of the Arrowverse. But he is going to be featured. Exactly. We've seen photos. Yes. It's proof. Unless they're pulling our chain. Yeah. Yanking our yank yank. <laughs> no one wants to yank your yank yank. Nobody says yank your yank yank? No. Hashtag yank your yank yank. Let's make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. Yank your yank yank. Yank your baby yank yank. <laughs> All right, so... So far, we have uh, everyone who's listed as appearing is so far Stephen Amell as Oliver Queen Green Arrow, uh, Audrey Marie Anderson as Lila Michaels Harbinger. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Harbinger is, in Infinite Crisis, I mean, not Infinite Crisis, but Crisis on Infinite Earths, there's a lot of crisis. Harbinger is the one who collects all the heroes and villains together. Right. In order to assemble a team to save the multiverse. That's right. Um, so she's going to play both Lila Michaels, which is John Diggle's wife, as well as Harbinger. Nice. Uh, we got Tala Ashe as Zuri Tomaz. I'm not sure I who that totally is. I totally said Ash with the East Silent, but hey. Okay, Ash. All right. Tali Ash, then. One as, of us said it correctly. Yeah. One of us did. Who knows? We have uh, Breck Basinger as Courtney Whitmore, also known as Stargirl. Which they are come, getting ready to produce a Stargirl series for the CW. Are they? Yes. That's going to take place. Yeah, it was awesome. just announced awesome. yesterday. So is it going to be Stargirl or is it going to be JLA? It's going to be... JSA. It's going to be just Stargirl. I would like to see a JSA. With stripes. Yeah. Uh, also, Melissa Benoist... As Cara Danvers, Supergirl, of course, and, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Tom Cavanaugh as Dr. Harrison Nash Wells, Professor Epon Thrawn, Reverse Flash, and Pariah. Do you know who Pariah is in the uh, story? I do not, actually. Pariah, now, I'm reading it right now, and I've only gotten part of the way through so far. I've only read it once. Pariah is, he's basically charged with watching each universe collapse in on itself and he's very emotionally devastated over this uh at least so far as i can tell from the comic uh it i haven't gotten that far like i said uh but so far he's just he wants it to stop he wants to either die or just help save one of the earths so that's that's gonna be kind of cool and the fact that Eobard Thawne, Reverse Flash, is going to be in it. Uh, is he going to be a villain trying to help the Anti-Monitor? Or is he going to help the team save the Earth? Judging from his character, I, he can't really torment the Flash if there is no Earth to torment the Flash on. However, the best way to torment the Flash is to destroy everything the Flash cares about. This is true. And, spoiler warning here, big spoiler warning... Do you know what happens at the end? Do you know who dies at the end of this whole scenario? Uh, well, 
In the comic, in the Super, comics, I Supergirl happen, dies. Doesn't she? Don't know she? if this is going to happen in the show, but in the comic, Supergirl dies, doesn't she? She does. Uh, the Flash dies. Barry, Allen, Allen yeah. Flash dies. Uh, which so, it's been uh, rumor hinted at in the show that he's going to die. However, there has been no uh, confirmation that this is no. the Flash's last season. So I'm thinking it's going to go on, especially since. It's the CW's most popular Arrowverse show right now. Right. Even more popular than the Arrowverse yeah. launcher Arrow. We do have so, confirmation that this is the Arrow's last this season. It is, and they just wrapped about, about a week ago, two weeks ago. They just wrapped. Now, are they going, do you know, are they going to stop it at Crisis on Infinite Earths? Or are they going to keep going for the rest of the season? No, I think we're done. Okay. I think because uh, Emil, that is his, that's his name. Yes, yeah, Stephen Emil. Um, he, he tweeted uh, some sad stuff. So, Okay. Uh, next is Ozyrek Chow as Ryan Choi. You get who, all the bad news. You can't pronounce. <laughs> who created the Flash's 16th costume in the Arrowverse. Nice. And I was so excited when uh, we heard about this. Batman himself, the most popular Batman next to Michael Keaton. Kevin Conroy is going to be an infant... Crisis Earth, I probably told totally you. Crisis on it. Infinite Crisis Earth. Of Infinite Earth. <laughs> and he's going to be playing what appears to be Kingdom Come version of Bruce Wayne. We saw a picture of him. He had those little uh, like exoskeleton uh, shoulder dealies there. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like he you know, that'll and that'll go along with our Super Kingdom Come Superman coming up. Right. Uh, also John Cryer will be Lex Luthor. Uh, for those of you who don't know, John Cryer was actually in the original Superman franchise. Superman 4. Yeah, he played Lex Luthor's nephew. What was his name? Oh, good lord, what was his name? You know, I've tried to put that movie as far out of my head as possible. I actually liked it. I enjoyed... They they really need... DC really needs to do something with the with Nuclear Man. I, you know... He could it, be it an awesome bad, villain. It wasn't a bad concept. No. It takes us to ban everything else. Yeah. So. They did kind of bring him in into one of the comics about a year or so ago, but it was just a cameo appearance. I actually have the comic book adaptation of Superman 4. At home. Yeah. Much better than the movie. Erica Durrance, who, as we all know, played Lois Lane in Smallville, is coming back to play Lois Lane from Smallville Universe here, as well as Alora Zorel. Yep. So that's that's just awesome. I'm excited. And there's something that goes along with that. We'll get to it. Awesome. Uh LaMonica Garrett as yeah. Marno Vu, the monitor. <laughs> He's also playing the anti monitor, for those of you who didn't know. Right. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh Rick Gonzalez as Rene Ramirez Wild Dog. Uh, let's go back to the monitor. I'm really surprised. That, that monitor, this monitor, <laughs> what? The DC character monitor. Ah. Uh, I'm really surprised at how comic accurate they got the monitor for the CW. I'm surprised how accurate they've got a lot of these characters yeah. within the last few years. I mean, the Flash is where it started. Yes, Arrow introduced the Flash. And then, but when the Flash started, they had, they kind of had no choice but to go with the costumes. And then they went with the costumes. Like, well, we're going to go with the costumes. Let's go with, you know, his accuracy. I love it. The only thing they haven't done yet is give the Flash his yellow boots. Yet, yeah. Yeah. There's one thing. I'm wondering I, if they're going to give him the yellow boots. They'll give him the yellow boots. Hopefully. They'll give him the yellow boots. I don't know. I know it's a small thing, but it. We'll get the yellow the boots when Superman gets his underwear back. <laughs> Which that's another thing. There, there's rumors that Superman is going to get his own Arrowverse show. Uh, I heard, I saw that. Yeah. That'll be another. Actually, it's rumored to be like a, another Lois and Clark type of show, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, which brings up another point. Why the hell did they not get Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher? They even wanted to do a reunion uh, special to finish off the Lois and Clark yeah. series. Forever, they could have used this to do either do that or spin it off into that. I asked the question on Dean Kane's Instagram account, and the the response I got was nobody contacted him. What is wrong with you? Yeah, you have Superman. You have Supergirl, the original. Yeah, 
We also have Grant Gustin as Barry Allen, the Flash. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you think that Flash dead. is going to dead. die? Dead. They'll bring him back. Hopefully it won't take him nearly two decades to bring him back. Because right. uh, that's that's the cool thing. I think Barry Allen is probably one of the longest dead characters yeah. bef- you know, before brought back into the DC Universe. What about, well, in the DC Universe? The DC Universe. Well, what about Jason Todd? Close, but I still think Barry was dead a lot longer. Yeah. A lot longer. Yeah. So, David Harwood as John Jones. John Jones. John Jones. The Oreo-eating mother himself. Martian Manhunter. Juliana Harkavy as Dinah Drake, Black Canary. Which, she, uh, they're also getting their own show on the CW. Saw that. Green Arrow and the Canaries. Saw that. Um, which is... It's not going to be, uh, Ollie as Green Arrow. No, it's going to be his daughter. Yeah, what happened to his son? Did I miss something? His son is a new, uh, Overwatch. And it's going to take place in 2040. Aha. Yeah. We also have Tyler Hutchin as Clark Kent Superman. The Super Bro. The Super... I like this guy, though. Yeah, he is. This guy is, um... I like him. I, I, I know a lot of people liked um, uh, what's uh, Brandon Routh. Some people right. like what's his name from Man of Steel. I would. I well, like speaking this of guy. Brandon Routh, this is his last season on Legends of Tomorrow. Yes, it is. I would really like to see, depending on how his, uh, his Kingdom Come Superman is, I would like to see a Arrowverse Kingdom Come series. Or even if they just did like a two-hour movie or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be great. And There's something that CW has not looked into. Doing an actual yeah. CW film based on one or more of these characters. And uh, great. Kingdom Come Superman. Brandon Routh is Kingdom Come Superman. He looks really good. I like that suit a lot better than the Superman Returns suit. Oh, God, yes. And we'll put the picture up right here. Yeah. <laughs> right here. It's right here. Don't I'm touch at it. Don't touch the screen. I'm not touching. <laughs> All right. We have Kyler Lee as Dr. Alex Danvers. Not to be confused with the chick from the Marvel movie that we shouldn't mention here. Uh, Steven Lobo as Jim Corgan. Uh, Katie Lotz as Captain Sarah Lance, White Canary. Nicole Maines as Neonal Dreamer. Neonal. Yeah, hair. <laughs> John's a few seasons behind on the Arrowverse shows. About two or three. <laughs> he catches the crossovers and that's it. Oh, speaking of Neonal, did you know she is the first trans hero slash actor-actress in CW? That's where I recognize the name. Yes. Yes, that is awesome. Congratulations. That is awesome. Uh, Katie McGrath as Lena Luther. I remember her. Catherine McNamara as Mia Smoke Black Star. Who also ends up becoming the new Green Arrow for yeah. Green Arrow and the Canaries. Uh, Dan- now, I got a question. Black Star. Is yeah. that an established character? I'm not sure. Because That's the name she used when she was uh, cage fighting in the, uh, in the year 2040. Because, I say this, because there's a new comic book story arc right now called yeah. The Black Stars. Which I have yet to read. I have it. I haven't read it. I just got it, so... Uh, we have Daniel Panabaker as Dr. Caitlin Snow, Killer Frost. Now, here this season, Caitlin Snow has taken a backseat to Killer Frost. They've come up, come to a compromise. I don't know how up-to-date you are on that story arc. Um, I remember her becoming Killer Frost. All right. Killer Frost is a hero now. Her and Caitlin have kind of formed this symbiotic relationship. Right, because she's a schizo. <laughs> Multiple personalities. Right. Schizo. No. No? No. Okay. Just because you've got multiple personalities does not make you schizophrenic. Does it? No. It just makes you crazy. No. Are you not telling us something? <laughs> Are you, in fact, Shannon? Yes, I am Shannon. For now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Killer Frost stopped coming out. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it. Because she... So you better get the Don't give up your day job. Oh, John, how I've missed you. So she came out. Yeah. Okay. Because she came to the realization that 
she doesn't really have a life of her own. She doesn't get to celebrate birthdays or she's never had a birthday of her own or Christmas of her own or anything. So her and Caitlin kind of came up with, um, okay, I'll take a back, back seat now and you can have, start a life of your own. And so, yeah. But should you need me? Pretty much, yeah. That's where it kind of, in the comic, Killer Frost was brought, brought on by Firestorm and Harbinger and Psycho Pirate because Psycho Pirate made her basically fall in love with Firestorm. I'm hoping that Robbie Amell makes an appearance as Firestorm in... In as this, a surprise. Yeah, as a they've, surprise. They've got to be shooting us some surprises yeah. in this. Yeah, and got he's it. not listed on here, but Firestorm was a big part of Crisis and, on Infinite Earths. And we mentioned Dean Kane, and you said he wasn't called, but yeah. that also could be a ruse. Maybe he has been. Yeah. Maybe he'll be a cameo. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Candace Patton is Iris West Allen. Yep. Now, that's also something, because pro before Crisis on Infinite Earths and the comics... Iris died. Yeah. Which, so. of course, was prevented in the series. Yeah. That was one of his big things. Yeah. And then we've got Dominic Purcell as Mick Rory, Heat Wave. Love Mick. Gotta love Mick. Uh, we have David Ramsey as John Diggle, Spartan, and possibly Green Lantern. Yeah. They have been hinting at him being Green Lantern. I would prefer to see an actual real Lantern, yeah. such as Guy or John or Hal or... Kyle. Kyle or um, we got two you know, we got two others in New There Orleans. is a possibility of HBO picking up a Green Lantern series. I read that they won't uh, Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. I read that. Uh, hopefully they have a better luck than Watchmen. Alright, so we've also got Jesse Rath as Query Docs, Brainiac Five. Have he has he been introduced before? Yes. He's, he's been in the past two see. seasons of Supergirl. I haven't even seen this. Actually, maybe the past three seasons. Uh, oh, then, of course, the name I recognize, Katie Cassidy Rogers. He was Katie Cassidy, so much got married. As Laura Lance. I have her on Facebook. Oh. That's how I recognize the name. I didn't recognize that. We Rogers, got Ruby Rose as Batwoman, Kate Kane. Um, which, if you guys ever watch Mr. H Reviews, actually, he pronounces it Mr. H Reviews since he's British. Uh, he is absolutely obsessed with ragging on this show. He consider, considers it the worst so show on the is CW. It, right is now. it that bad? It's not I, that I, bad. I want to watch it, but I'm afraid to because she is one of my um, top five favorite DC superheroes. It's not the that, comics. It's not that bad. It could be better, but it is not the worst. Is it the man-hating show that people say it is? No. 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 Good. And I must check this Batwoman out. Yeah. We have Brandon Roth as Dr. Ray Palmer, The Atom, and Clark Kent, Kingdom Come, Superman. Which, what Which earlier. they've also showed um, pictures of him as Clark Kent. Yes. Now and he is the new editor-in-chief of the Daily Planet in right. Kingdom Come Universe. Now here is my... Query, a little question. We've got, we pretty much guaranteed, we already know that this is Kingdom Come Superman. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much speculated, almost guaranteed that uh, Kevin Conroy is Kingdom Come yep. Bruce Wayne. I believe it is confirmed. Do you think they're going to surprise us and give us any other Kingdom Come characters? It's hard to say. Would you like to see Kingdom Come Wonder Woman or Kingdom Come, say, Magog? What about Kingdom Come Shazam? I was thinking him. Mm -hmm. So, this Since is, this Shazam is plays a big part in the Kingdom Oops, of Oops, a huge part. Yeah. Huge. We have Matt Ryan as John Constantine. Uh, Jonathan Schick. Schick. Schick, get a real name. <laughs> uh, Jonah, ha Jonah Hex. Yeah. yeah. That's right, he was in Legends of Tomorrow. Yes. A few episodes, I remember that. Uh, I, I have not watched Legends of Tomorrow uh, since midway through last season. I could be wrong, but... They, I've been hearing that he was going to join the Legends on a regular basis. That's what I heard. Uh, so if he's done that already, disregard this comment. Uh, but th that pretty cool idea. I like Jenna Hex. I yeah. Uh, yeah. We have Ashley Scott as Helena Kyle Huntress, who was the original Huntress from the Birds of Prey. And that's series. the universe they're bringing bringing her over from. And that is awesome. Yeah. 
Um, and if you're not a Birds of Prey fan, it's fine, but I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, we did get some actual DC villains in it. We had Harley Quinn, who was a main villain. Uh, we had Clayface. Scarecrow showed up. Hmm. So it was a really good series. It, I think it could have been given... And a little bit of trivia. Mark Hamill did reprise the role of the Joker in that yes. in the opening scene. He voiced over the actor. Yeah. Who portrayed the Joker at the beginning of the first episode. Uh, we have John Wesley Shipp, the original Flash, who is going to be reprise the role of Barry Allen the Flash. Which he's no. done before. Yes, in the uh, Elseworlds, last yeah. year's crossover. Now, do you think he's also going to portray Jay Scott? Because, uh, I mean, Jay Garrick. I don't know, but this I was thinking about this. We do know in the comics that Barry Allen dies. Mm -hmm. Barry Allen dies in this one, which Barry Allen... Ah, you bring up a good point. Is going to maybe die. maybe the uh, John Wesley ship Barry Allen will take uh, Grant Gustin's place, or maybe it will be um, the uh, John Wesley who is the Barry Allen. Or dies. currently in comics, I believe Zoom. Uh, he basically says that, or he does say that he's always wanted to be Earth's greatest hero. Right. And in order to do that, he had to die. Right. Which he took a bullet. Or he was going to take a bullet for the Flash, but the Flash jumped in his way and took the bullet himself. And he was going off saying, now I can't be Earth's greatest hero. because." So maybe he's going to try and one-up Barry that way. Maybe. Now, Harley Sawyer is Ralph Dibney, elongated man. Which all this season on the Flash, uh, they have been, uh, Ralph has been searching for Sue. They aren't married yet. He's a PI. He's been hired. To find her. Hmm. And he's always been one step behind her. With these infinite... Um, uh, crisis on infinite Earth, could this lead into more crisis storylines down the road? God, I hope so. Like Identity Crisis, which the elongated man and Sue played a huge... I think part. that's... That might, but, but they're obviously going to have to do something a little different. That story may be a little bit too R-rated for the CW. They could do something different. Or they could hint at it. Because they haven't brought in Dr. Light yet, have they? No. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're not going to discuss that here, but Google it. Yeah. Identity Crisis, wiki it, if you must. But, yeah, I'd like to see other. We have AZ Tesfaye as Kelly Olsen, which is Jimmy Olsen's sister, which who's in a relationship with Alex Danvers. Oh. In Super yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Tullock, right? As Lois Lane. That's yes. the new that, that the is current the, Lois that's Lane. the Arrow versus Lois yeah. Lane. We have Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon Vibe. I um love maybe vibe, he's vibe. going to get his powers back because he took the uh, serum that got rid of his powers because oh. he didn't want to be he didn't want vibe to be what he was known for. Right. And I'm excited to see what they do with it. I think it's gonna be a one shot cameo. I think it's basically gonna be the pitch we've already seen. Mm -hmm. But Burt Ward is coming back as, as Burt Ward. Burt Ward. <laughs> so. Maybe he'll reference Adam West at some point. At some point, or I mean, if you see the picture of him, he's even wearing the, the Robin colors. Yeah. So that, but that's how they're going to bridge the gap between uh, the 1966 Batman and. David. Now it says here Tom Welling is returning as Clark Kent Superman. But I've also heard he's in <coughs> one scene. One scene, and that's on the Kent farm, which in season ten he sold the Kent farm. Hmm. They're um, producers of saying they're doing kind of a uh, in the middle of they're they're rewriting the tenth season kind of to get rid of that part and yeah. a few other things. Good, maybe he needs to bring it on the cape. Muffling you, Welling. <laughs> You're the reason why it didn't happen. Yeah. Cress Williams is Jefferson Pierce Black Lightning. We discussed this earlier. Yeah. Not a part of the Arrowverse until now. Uh, I I really hope they find some way to bring Firestorm into it. Yeah. That I mean Jefferson Jackson hasn't been listed on here. He hasn't been on Legends of Tomorrow in a while. Robert Wall. You don't know who remember who he is? Alexander Knox. Ace reporter oh, yes. in the 1989 yes. Batman film. That's right. Because um, I he, noticed you he, didn't have his old character there. He, yes. He, Alexander Knox. It, it has been re, uh, it has been Confirmed he is playing Alexander Knox. And yeah. Michael Keaton is going to make a small cameo via newspaper, newspaper article. We've already seen the cameo. Hopefully which will be show up right here. Surprise. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about that because I like Knox. Trivia, Knox <coughs> was supposed to die at the end of yes. Batman 1989 film. And uh, they didn't do it. Uh, even in the comic book, I have the adaptation of the comic book, he doesn't die. Yeah. He lives. So that is so cool. And he's going to be part of the Arrowverse now. And that's so awesome. So what are you thinking the uh, outcome of Crisis on Infinite Earths is going to be for the CW? Ah, uh, well, we're going to lose. We're obviously going to lose uh, Emil uh, Green Arrow. He's, yes. I don't know if he's going to die. Uh, I don't know if he's going to take the place of Barry Allen as far as death goes. Actually, according to an episode from last season's uh, Green Arrow, or Arrow, uh, future version of Felicity Smoke, uh, once she got done helping the uh, uh, her daughter and son and their team, uh, she join, uh, talks to the Monitor and he says it's time to join uh, Oliver. Wow. So... He may be, uh, Oliver may not die, but he may be with the Monitor mm. for whatever reason. So, uh, we're going to lose, um, we're going to lose some people. I mean, people, there's going to be people who's going to die. Yeah. Um, of course, whether or not they stay dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I, I mean, I'm thinking of, um, are they going to use this to impact, um, uh, other shows like or like uh, something happens in the Kingdom Come first. Are they going to go back and address that later on in other episodes? What I'm thinking, it's kind of stuff I'd like to see. What so. I'm thinking they may do, because in Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, that's how the JSA was introduced into Earth One. Mm -hmm. um, was they merged several universes? So I'm thinking this isn't going to be the last we see of John Wesley Ship. He'll continue being Jay Garrick. The Flash from in, JSA. In Earth One. Could happen. Could happen. And, and of course we got Stargirl coming up, who yeah. is a member of the JSA. Yeah. Uh, well also I'm thinking that that's also how we're gonna get Black Lightning into the Arrowverse. As well as Supergirl into the Arrowverse. Right. Um, because Supergirl is not technically part of the Arrowverse. No, she, she shows is, up an awful damn lot. She is in Earth. Which is, she is part of Earth Two. Earth Two. Yeah. Um, Black Lightning, the same thing. And I think this is his first uh, entry into yeah. the Arrowverse. The, his first crossover. And Constantine has been in and out so many blasts at times. Yeah. It's a good way to keep him in there. And um, yeah. What other cameos do you think we'll get that aren't listed? Um. Again, I know we got the newspaper article, but I think it would be a amazing surprise to get Michael Keaton. Yeah, that would be uh, awesome. Batman, even in the age version, it'd be nice to see when when Kevin Conroy was announced as Batman. Everybody was like, "Oh my God, Batman Beyond, Batman Beyond." That doesn't appear to be the case. So maybe something Batman Beyondish would be awesome to see. Yeah. Uh, a hint of an old Bruce Wayne, maybe. Um, with Ace City next to him, you know, which would be great. Um, Warner Brothers is currently tossing around the idea of bringing Michael Keaton, uh, Michael Keaton in as old Bruce Wayne into a Batman Beyond movie, continuing kind yes. of the Tim Burton -ish yeah. version, which so, would be pretty cool. That'd be great. And I mean, even Michael Keaton has hinted at it when he was uh, at the doing that graduation speech, and he, I'm Batman. Yeah, he says, and one thing you got to remember. I'm, I'm Batman. Batman. Which he kept saying throughout Birdman. He kept saying behind the camera throughout throughout the, the filming of the movie Birdman, I'm Batman. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently that's his thing. He likes to do that. Yeah. He was doing that during RoboCop too. Uh, let's see here on some more trivia. Do we have a Batgirl in this crisis? No. Well, I think we need a Batgirl in this crisis. We have a Batwoman. I, we don't even have a Robin. I've heard rumors that the girl who played Oracle in... Uh, Birds of Prey may be reprising her role as, cool. as Barbara Gordon. Cool. Uh, but take it with a grain of salt. Let's get a Robin in there. Yeah, that'd be... Uh, get get the Titans. Bring the Titans over. from. There you go. Yeah. Or, yeah. Which I have heard ru rumors about that. Too. I have heard rumors yeah. about that. So this could be a big Even surprise. a cameo appearance. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Speaking of Titans, they're debuting the Nightwing costume this season they are i have not watched any of the season of titans i'm in the middle of the first season i liked it i like it all right i have um, not watched any of it really, yet because i don't have dc i'll tell you it really gets uh you really get you have to get used to the Firestar 
Firestar. Firestar. Yeah, Firestar. You've really got to get used to her because you're used to one thing and it's a com- kind of a completely different, but at the same time, her character is still there. So it's just, it, it takes a little time. Everybody else nailed it. I mean, so. By the way, guys, this is the first attempt doing a show, full show with the green screen. Uh, don't have a whole lot of lighting and still trying to get all the lighting uh, in the correct placement and everything. So when J- John moves his hands around like this, you may see some green back there. I, you know, it's funny. <laughs> I almost wore the same thing. That would have been bad. Yeah. You would have been stuck wearing my Santa Claus costume. It's only would have been the only thing you see. Yeah. You would have been, been a floating head. Invisible. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the logic, John. Logic. Uh, the logic's kind of a, uh, a little YouTube channel I came up with. Um, to where uh, there are toy reviews on there, similar to what Shannon and I used to do in the past. Um, but I like to, to tackle some of um, the different uh, topics, like uh, we do. We have a wrestling show on there, and uh, uh, we're working on a few new shows where we're going to be tackling uh, a partner and I, myself. We'll be uh, tackling uh, various different issues such as religion, politics, comics. Uh, the movie industry, things like that. So current events. Current events, past events. Uh, I am also working on a, a restaurant review series where I will be going over restaurants in my hometown here in Canada. Which is Illinois. something we talked about back in the day when we first started this channel. And we said, hey, we could still do that too, with, as well as a possible children's series, but on a new channel. Because, because of COPPA. Because of COPPA. If you don't know what COPPA is, we ain't going to discuss it here. Lots of people are discussing it. A good uh, channel to check out uh, who talks about the COPPA situation, Shardimus Prime, uh, which we'll link down below. We'll also link the logic down below. Uh, Shardimus Prime really goes into detail about all the mis- uh, misunderstandings, misconstruement of COPPA and all that having to do with YouTube and right. children and everything. So, um, And from now on, I will have a... Uh, Public service announcement at the beginning of each episode of Come Again TV, uh, notifying everyone that we are not a made for kids channel. No. None of the videos or playlists on this channel are made for kids. We are for the adult collector and enthusiast. So anyone over the age of 13 is welcome to watch. Uh, if you're under the age of 13, make sure you. Uh, Shame on yes. you. Yes. Go get Shame. your parents. Say, hey, I want to watch this. Watch it with me. Which, you. personally, to me, any, any attorney worth a grain of salt should be able to make the argument that by parents allowing their children to watch YouTube, they are in fact giving their permission to collect data on from that child. Yeah. It's viewing. So, but yeah, lots of info on COPPA. Uh, definitely check it out. Very important. Check it out. So. And um, anything else you want to add to the whole crisis on Infinite Earths? Uh, we're I, coming up on 40 I, minutes right now. So. I know I'm a few seasons behind, but I'm excited for it. All these cameos, all of these universes coming together that we never thought would come together. This is like a comic book uh, comic book fan's wet dream come true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now I'm I'm a few episodes behind on Arrow. Super, I've been moving, which is why we're able to have this green screen now. Uh, I just got a bigger place. Uh, with my own studio and all that. When we first started this channel, we were able to film at the comic book shop. Uh, and all, all we had was either a Ninja Turtle poster in the background or... Moment of silence for the storm. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Or just a blue wall in the background. It's nice to be able to have the green screen to be able to change the image now. I would like to see Robbie Amell's Firestorm in, in the full costume. Yeah. Because he... Robbie Amell's Firestorm never got a costume in the Arrowverse. No, he just uh, Jeff- Yeah, Jefferson Jackson got yeah, the costume. He got the costume. Uh, which I think we kind of got screwed out on because, <laughs> I mean... Oh, yeah, it was a coat. Yeah. And since Firestorm was a big part of Crisis on Infinite Earths, we need Firestorm. Yeah, we had to go uh, And, of course, I mean, my favorite Firestorm was Ronnie... Uh, and I mean, we've already got uh, Killer Frost, so we might as well bring Firestorm. That would be a good way to re to bring Firestorm back is for Crisis on Infinite Earths. That'd be perfect. So, um, in fact, um, there's so many stories that the CW could tell with 
Firestorm, they could give him and Killer Frost their own show. They could. Um, other characters I'd like to see, we already mentioned, uh, I'd like to see Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher come back mm-hmm. as their respective Superman and Lois Lane characters from Lois and Clark's New Adventures of Superman. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And you already, you already, uh, you can get the, the, that Lex to come back. And, so. Um, who else would we like to see? Mm. Who else would you guys like to see? Yes. Please, tell us in the comments below. And if you like what you see here, other than the smell, um, <laughs> if you like seeing me and John together again, bring it in, big boy. <laughs> they can't see your leg. No, I can't see my he leg. He tried dry humping me, guys. <laughs> I then, can't see my legs. <laughs> Among other things. Then leave it in the comments below and maybe we'll do more episodes like this. Maybe once a month or once yeah. once every couple weeks or something. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, check out The Logic. Right now, Come Again TV has twenty over 2,500 subscribers. So, I, I've been busting my butt on this channel. Uh, so It's if, true. It doesn't have a whole lot. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot. I... I I've got a pinched nerve in my leg right now from my belt being so tight because I have no ass to hold my pants up. It's rough. Yeah. You guys remember Life with Louie? You ever watch Life with Louie? Never sneak up on a guy sleeping on an iron board. I, I'm built like the dad. Yeah. 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 That's right. So if you see my face disappear into the background is because it's turning green from the smell of John's fart. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Make sure you check out The Logic, subscribe there, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all his videos. Check out Shardimus Prime's video on the Kappa situation. And we'll come back after Crisis on Infinite Earths wraps up on the CW. I'll come back. I'll, I'll review it with you. Sounds good. Take it easy, geeks.